Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show, a new kind of spiritual talk show. Broadcast on FM radio, internet websites, and print publications. I am well known for that celebrity interview. Interviews that we conduct in studio, by telephone, and by satellite with today's most fascinating people. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you on ValderBeebeShow.com. Thank you so much for joining me here in Dallas, Texas, live on the Valder BB Show. How are you? I'm doing just fine. And yourself? I'm fine. Look, Dave, I love movies. My audience say they love movies also, too. And you've got the latest movie news for us. Yeah, there's so many great movies coming out in theaters. And then there's also so many terrific options on Hulu. Many people are subscribers to Hulu and think of it as a place to watch great TV shows. But it's, it's also thousands of fantastic movies at your fingertips on Hulu as well. Okay. Holidays, that's what we do at my house. We eat and we watch movies. Oh, All good. Right, what do you got for us on Hulu? Well, if you're a tennis fan or a sports fan like I am, there's an amazing film called Serena. And it's a documentary that follows Serena Williams last year as she tried to win the tennis Grand Slam and win all four of the major tennis tournaments. And I loved this film because it really takes you in a very intimate way behind the scenes in her life. And you learn so much about what drives her, how emotional and intense of a player she is. You learn about her family situation, the hardships she's been through in her life, and the ups and downs and how she handles them all. It's really, really fascinating. So that's one that I would highly, highly recommend. There's another movie coming out later on Hulu uh, in December called Hunt for the Wilder People, which is this great film that takes place in New Zealand, and the star is Sam Neill, the guy from Jurassic Park, and he has a new foster son, and the two of them go out in the wilderness, and they get stranded, and it turns into this big manhunt, and everybody in the town has to try to go find them, and it's just a super, super fun, fascinating, quirky movie that I recommend highly called Hunt for the Wilder People. Okay. You have something from James Bond? Yeah. The great thing about Hulu is that you can also binge till your heart's content. And you can just go on there. And if you want to have a James Bond day in your own home, just go on there. There are so many James Bond films that you can just pick and choose and do a whole binge. Same thing with Rocky. All the Rocky movies are up there, including Creed, which came out last year with Michael B. Jordan and Sylvester Stallone, of course. And you can do a whole Rocky day and just sit on your sofa and, and cheer along with them as long as you want. Okay, well, I can't wait for that. And we're truly movie people, especially during the holidays. So people come and go, and you got have people come like they'll come for Serena because they love that one, but then they'll come for you know James Bond only. Hey, I like that. Let me ask you if that, but if we took them to the movies, what will we see there for the holidays? Well, I'm a big fan of this movie that's about to come out called La La Land, and it's a musical with Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone. It's a beautiful film, gorgeously shot. The dancing is terrific. They sing really well. I think that's going to be a big awards movie. And speaking of Oscars, there's a terrific film coming out at Christmas called Fences. I'm sure you're aware of the August Wilson play that's been so critically acclaimed. And Denzel Washington and Viola Davis are now in the movie adaptation of this play. They recently did it on Broadway as well. And they play a, a couple going through, let's just say, a marital crisis, to, to put it succinctly. And the two performances are so strong. And Viola Davis has just been on such a roll the last few years with her film work and her TV work. And I guarantee you, she will win an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress for this movie. She is so fantastic in it. And Denzel Washington, who also directed the movie, by the way, gives another fantastic performance. And by the way, he could win his third Oscar for it. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Well, we're going to keep that in mind when we're watching it because that is a great play by August Wilson. It really is. Yeah. Well, let me ask you, so we've got Amy Adams, love her. What is she doing at the movies? She's got two movies. She has the movie Arrival, which is a sci-fi movie that's already just come out. 
And she's about to star in a movie called Nocturnal Animals. It's directed by Tom Ford, the fashion designer. This is his second movie. He did a movie seven years ago called A Single Man that Colin Firth was in. This is his second movie, finally coming out with that one. And it's Amy Adams and Jake Gyllenhaal in a really fascinating, a little bit of a dark love story, very stylistic, stylized film that I highly recommend. It's beautiful, it's a little creepy, but it's fascinating and riveting. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. How was the fashion, since that's what we associate Tom Ford with? I just finished watching Mommy Dearest. The fashion was marvelous. Well, let me tell you, as you expect from a Tom Ford movie, the clothes and the hair and the makeup and just the look and the houses that they live in are fabulous. But I'll tell you, it goes so far beyond just a cool looking movie. It has a lot to say about relationships and how we sometimes throw people out of our lives too prematurely instead of holding on to them. It has to deal with revenge. It's a fascinating film. I recommend it. I'm going to use that as a great reason to see it. And also, now you got to tell me about Brad Pitt. You know, he's been having a little bit of a hard time personally, but movie-wise, he seems to be doing okay. He has a new film that's about to come out over Thanksgiving weekend called Allied. It's a World War II spy drama with him and Marion Cotillard. I actually am very fortunate that I got to do the one interview with him that he did for this movie. I hosted a Facebook Live stream from the red carpet uh, of the film a few about a week ago. Got to talk to him about it. Yes, he has gone through a little bit of a rough personal patch, but this is a really strong film from him. It's directed by Robert Zemeckis, who did Forrest Gump and Back to the Future. So he's, it's got a great pedigree, and it's a really romantic, interesting spy drama. All right, my audience, I see you guys out there on Facebook telling me that you have heard Dave Crager on E! and Access Hollywood, but I'm going to tell you he's my favorite when he's a guest host on Turner Classic Movies, and now he's my favorite on the Felder BB Show. You really know your movies, Dave. I love that. I thank you so much. Where can my audience find this information all wrapped up for them if they missed any part of it? If you want to learn more about the Hulu movies, go to Hulu.com or just find Hulu on your Apple TV or your Roku or all the devices that you've got in your home, and you can kind of binge till your heart's content with all the Hulu movies. I want to thank you so much. You got us started for the holiday coming up. I really appreciate this day. We will be mentioning you at my movie screening party. All right, have fun. Nice to meet you, Valder. Thank you so much.